Hi guys, I received this word yesterday, but I also received something additional this morning. So I'm just going to put them together into this one word, okay? But this is a word that may resonate with one person or it may resonate with a group of people, okay? But I want to say something to you. So someone or some of you guys, you have this like unnecessary, it's almost like this unexplained anxiety that may have come upon you either in the past, recent past, or recently you may have felt it. And it's almost like you're trying to shake it off, but then it's like, it's just lingering, right? And it's like, it's not the typical type of anxiety where you're just super stressed out. It's more like there's some concerns, concerns as in like the things that God tells you, it's almost like, am I going to receive this? When am I going to receive it? God, how am I going to receive it? With the things going on in this world today, how is this going to happen? How is that going to happen? And almost like this, you feel left behind type of feeling. You may be watching people walking into their season. You're like, God, what about me? Where's what's What about my season? What's going on? You may be watching people, you know, graduate school or get into their dream jobs or career. It's like, it's almost like, you're seeing everybody else moving forward and you're kind of like, okay, am I still at a standstill here, God? I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing. I'm trying to be obedient. Like, I'm not perfect, but I'm doing as much as sometimes I feel burnt out as in like sometimes I'm doing so much. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. You know, same thing, different day type of vibes. And you're like, what about me? What's going on? And even though you trust God, there may have been a lingering bit of anxiety and worriness, right? Because you tend to feel left behind, right? But I want to just tell you what God told me to tell you. He said, you got it. You got it. You don't have to worry. You got it. It is yours. Anything that God has promised you, it is yours. Of course, we have to do certain things to receive it, as in like, Faith without works is dead. As in when God gives you certain instructions, you have to comply because that's what's ultimately going to lead you to where you need to be. That's ultimately what's going to lead you closer and closer and closer towards what it is God has for you. You see what I'm saying? But if you're already doing that, you don't have to worry. Things are now just left on God's timing. You see what I mean? Like you don't have to worry about when it's going to happen, how it's going to happen. You don't have to worry about feeling left behind. Let me tell you something. You may see someone, you know, getting married and you may be like man i don't even know what's going on with my situation and before you know it god can turn your life around like that within six months your husband or your wife is here and you're getting married and you're like wow just six months ago i was worried about this just six months ago i was stressed out you know you may be living with someone right now and not have your own place and four months from now boom god will get you your own place like god knows how to shift things like that you see what i'm saying like things can change overnight there's certain things sometimes that people worry about i've seen testimonies where people have worried about certain things and they would stress about it and then out of nowhere they would receive it just like that and they're like where this they're like wow just two months ago or a year ago i was complaining about this there's people who have become overnight success there's people who went from being homeless to having a multi-million dollar business within a year things can shift just like that don't be so hard on yourself don't beat yourself down despite what's going on around you despite the battles that are happening around you just know that god is in full control and all you have to do is just comply and be obedient to anything that god is telling you specifically to do and if you're already doing that as i stated before then you're doing the right thing then you don't have to worry about nothing god said it's already yours if you already got it because this is part of his plan for your life this is a part of his plan for your purpose and i want to mention this to you i just have to add this thing because god just gave me a revelation about something you see many people they don't have the type of relationship you have with god there's many people who are good people but they're just living their life normally like they're not you know really focused on their walk with god or anything like that yet you may see them getting their breakthroughs but let me tell you something some of these people they were not able to receive a prophecy from God about their breakthrough. It just happened. You see what I'm saying? So in, in their eyes, sometimes it may look like, wow, this just happened randomly, just like that. But because you're able to see your prophecy, God has revealed it to you through vision and he may have even told you, it may seem like it's taken so long. Why is that? Because you know about it. Because you know about it. See, it's a lot easier for people to be patient for something they did not know was coming. You hearing what I'm saying? It's a lot easier for people to be patient about something they didn't know was coming.
See, when you know something is coming, when you know what God has for you, you tend to have a little bit of impatience. And because of that, it's almost like you will question it here and there. Like, when is it going to happen? But at the same time, you have to remember something. Had you not known what was coming for you and then God just blessed you with it, it would have just looked like, oh my gosh, I just received it. Or, you know, you wouldn't have realized that you're waiting so long for it had God just gave it to you without showing it to you via prophecy look how many things god has sh has given us without showing us a prophecy about it before it happened but it just happened randomly had we known it would have felt like we were waiting for a long time right so the things that god has promised you you have to understand that had god not shown it to you and god just blessed you with it you wouldn't have realized that you had waited all these years for it or all these months for it. I'm just letting you know that so you to, uh, for you to understand that there's those who receive their breakthroughs and it may look like they didn't have to wait for it, but they were waiting for it. The only difference is God may not have shown it to them. So they didn't know they were waiting for something. They just received it, right? So because you know about it, it may seem like it's taking longer for you to receive what it is that God has for you because you know about it, right? So I just had to put that out there as well. But despite what's going on around you, just be patient. Just be patient. God said it's already yours, okay? Do not feel like you are left behind. You are not left behind. If you talk to, if you saw some testimonies or some people said, you know, um, you know, I just bought a house or I just got a job or I just got married or whatever breakthrough they've received, people will literally tell you that they may have went through oh went through years of waiting or they may have went through months of waiting or just last year or just last month things were not looking good for them and then all of a sudden there was a huge turnaround it can happen to you too and it's going to happen to you too just keep complying to what god tells you to do and stop worrying god says you got it god says it's already yours okay i'm gonna read you a scripture 1 peter 5 verse 7 Cast your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Be alert and sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Resist him and standing firm in the faith. Firm in the faith, okay? Because you know that the family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of sufferings. And the God of all grace who called you to his internal glory in Christ after you have suffered a little while will himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. To him be the power forever and ever. Amen. God is going to restore you. Stand firm in your faith. Firm in your faith means like you are not checking out of your faith, not even a little bit. You are standing firm in it, despite, which means despite what is happening around you, you are standing firm in the faith. The devil wants you to have anxiety. He wants you to stress. He wants you to feel like you are left behind. No, don't even, you know, don't even entertain these types of thoughts. Stand firm, okay? Stand firm and know that God says it's yours and you got it, okay? I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.